Today we're gonna make seed paper. We bought these seed paper hearts online to make our class Valentine's Day cards. Seed paper is a lot of fun because people can plant the paper under soil and a mystery flower will grow. We decided we wanted to try making seed paper on our own. To make seed paper, you'll need thin scratch paper or newspaper, seeds, a spatula, cookie cutters, food dye, a food processor or blender, and a splatter screen or any thin mesh screen like a window screen will do. A lot of people recommend using an older secondhand blender for paper and making it a blender just for paper. We used an old food processor and it worked great. To start, first tear or cut your thin paper into small pieces. We found the smaller the pieces, the better. Do not use laminated paper because of the plastic or magazine because it has a glossy coating. Add the paper bits to your blender or food processor. Now fill the water with just enough to cover the paper. Blend the paper until the texture is like pulp. We poured half of the pulp mixture into a dish for me and half for my brother. He added a few drops of red food dye and I put blue food dye in mine. We stirred until the color was blended well into the pulp. Then we added the seeds. Try not to add too many seeds because plants need space to grow. Gently stir the seeds, making sure you don't break them. If they break, they won't sprout. Some people have recommended putting in glitter, but we do not recommend this because most glitters are microplastics. They don't break down and are very bad for the earth. Once you are done stirring in the seeds, Place cookie cutters over a splatter screen. Put an old towel under the splatter screen so the extra water can absorb at the bottom. Scoop the pulp into the cookie cutters and try to create a thin, even layer. Gently press the water out with a spatula. After you fill the cookie cutters with pulp, you can remove the cookie cutters and press the seed paper with paper towel to absorb the extra water and flatten the pulp. The seed paper will need at least 24 hours to dry, so we'll continue tomorrow. It's tomorrow and the seed paper turned out amazing! Now, we're gonna make the card. You will need hard cardstock paper, any size you like. We used eight and a half by 11. We folded our paper and cut it in half. Then, we folded it again. So we had two cards, one for my brother and one for myself. Now it's time to design our cards. Here's our finished work. Oh. 
We hope you like this video. Please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more fun crafts and activity ideas for kids. Thank you for watching. Hope you like our video. Please subscribe.